PSM lecture series. This video is about mortality rates and ratios. Welcome to Medwits Made Simple. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. In this video, I'll explain about crude death rate, specific death rate, case fatality rate, proportional mortality rate, and survival rate. In my next video, I'll be talking about adjusted or standardized rates. I'll be explaining about the concepts of direct and indirect standardization. Crude death rate. Crude death rate is defined as the number of deaths per thousand estimated mid-year population in one year in a given place. Now, if you understand this definition, you can easily uh, remember the formula of crude death rate. Crude death rate just tells us about the number of deaths occurring per thousand people in a population in one year. Okay, so it is just a single value which does not give us any specific information about the cause of death or which particular age group has higher death rates or anything. Okay, it, is, it just tells us about the number of deaths occurring in a population. It is just a generalized value. So the formula of crude death rate is number of deaths during the year divided by mid-year population into thousand. This is a very important formula and you need to remember, you need to understand what mid-year population is. Mid-year population means the population uh, as measured on 1st of July okay so that is what is called as mid-year population now like I told you crude death rate alone cannot be used as a parameter to uh, uh, to come to conclusion about a population uh, let us consider a scenario to make this concept clear for you we'll consider two populations population A and B the crude death rate of population A appears higher than population B so you might be thinking the population B is healthier than population A. So let us consider one more parameter, okay? One more specific parameter called as age specific death rate. In this parameter, we are calculating death rates in various age groups, okay? So here you can see that uh, uh, look at the age specific death rate in zero to one years of age group. You can see that the age specific death rate in that age group is more in population B compared to population A okay so you can see in all the age groups the age specific death rate is more in population B compared to population A but when we calculated crude death rate population A had higher crude death rate how is that possible one of the possible explanation for this is that population A has um, older population older people come uh, more of older people compared to population B so if if a population has more older people it is natural to have higher death rate so when there is more older people and because of that the population had higher death rate the crude death rate appears high whereas population b had relatively lower older population whereas more younger population and in that case this more younger population ha is having higher mortality rate which is obviously bad because younger population uh, should not have higher mortality rate naturally so when we compare when we use this specific parameter called age specific death rate we got a, uh, we got a, an important uh, understanding that crude death rate alone is not sufficient to come to a conclusion now, now after, after using this parameter uh, we can understand that population b is not healthier than population a okay so population a is better than population b so that is why crude death rate alone cannot be used as a parameter to come to any conclusion Specific death rate. We already saw about one of the specific death rate called age specific death rate when we talked about crude death rate. Specific death rate uh, gives us better idea about the etiology for death. So it can be cause or disease specific. For example, death rates occurring due to tuberculosis. Uh, death rates associated with tuberculosis can be calculated, which tells us about the death occurring due to tuberculosis in a particular population. It can also be related to specific age groups. For example, age specific death rate, like we saw in the previous example, we can calculate the death rates in various age groups and it will tell us about the number of deaths occurring in various age groups. The uses of specific death rates can be used for comparison between different causes in a population. For example, we can uh, identify the, the deaths, number of deaths occurring because of malaria in a population compared to number of deaths occurring due to tuberculosis in that population and so it can be used to compare between different causes in a population it can also help us to identify the groups at risk for example 
when we calculate age specific death rate we can identify which particular age group is at more risk and we can plan our health programs accordingly to target that age group case fatality rate case fatality rate if you tell in one line it is the killing power of a disease it is about the killing power of a disease so if the case fatality rate is more it means that the killing power of the disease is more it is just the ratio of deaths to cases okay this uh, so if you remember this it will be easy for you to remember the formula for case fatality rate so the total number of deaths due to a particular cause divided by total number of cases due to the same disease into 100 is the formula for case fatality rate like i told you it is the ratio of deaths to cases how many people who get the disease dies due to the disease is what is case fatality rate and this is also an important formula case fatality rate is usually applicable for in uh, acute infectious diseases like food poisoning measles and cholera because in acute infectious diseases the time duration between the onset of disease and death is usually less and so you can calculate case fatality rate easily in these diseases okay so that is about case fatality rate if you want to tell about case fatality rate in one line it is it tells about the killing power of a disease that is what is case fatality rate and remember that it is the ratio of deaths to cases when you remember that it will be easy for you to remember the formula of case fatality rate and it also gives us a clue about the virulence of the particular disease proportional mortality rate Proportional mortality rate tells us about the proportion of total deaths due to a particular cause or the proportion of total deaths in a particular age group. So what is this? Proportional mortality rate is the number of deaths due to a particular cause per, per 100 total deaths. Okay? So if a population has 1000 people in it and we want to know what, uh, how many people are dying due to tuberculosis and when we conduct studies we find out that 12 people are dying due to tuberculosis it means that uh, uh, it means that that proportion of the people in that population is dying due to tuberculosis okay so hope you got the concept of proportional mortality rate so it is given by the formula number of deaths from specific disease for example tuberculosis in a year divided by total deaths from all causes in that year okay uh, so this tells us about the number of deaths due to a specific disease okay so this will tell us about the number of deaths due to our target disease for example tuberculosis you have to multiply by 100 and we'll get the formula for proportional mortality rate so this formula is for identifying proportional mortality rate due to a specific disease if you want to know proportional mortality rate in a particular age group for example under 5 proportionate mortality rate what we have to do is that just replace uh, the disease in this formula with the age group for example number of deaths occurring due to uh, occurring number of deaths in a particular age group divided by total deaths in that year into 100 when we do that we'll get the number of deaths occurring in our target age group population so when we want to identify under 5 proportionate mortality rate we have to calculate it by the formula number of deaths occurring in under 5 age group divided by total deaths in that year multiply by 100 and we'll get under 5 proportionate mortality rate so just remember that proportionate mortality ratio or rate tells us what proportion of a population is dying due to a specific disease or what proportion of uh, deaths in a population is in a specific age group okay so it just tells us about proportion survival rate so it tells us a uh, survival rate is the proportion of survivors in a group studied and followed over a period of time okay so this is mainly used for prognosis and it is commonly applicable in cancer studies for example you have seen five year survival rate following breast cancer five year survival rate following prostate cancer and all that okay it just tells us about the prognosis of treatment uh, of our particular disease our our uh, are specific or generally uh, it tells us about the prognosis of a disease also so we have to follow up patients over a particular period of time for example over five years is what is commonly used so it is called as five year survival rate and it tells us about the survival uh, the, the probability of survival 
of a patient from that disease when if is treated uh, with a particular uh, drug or with a specific modality of treatment okay for example will uh, if a new drug is been discovered if a new drug is being uh, invented for breast cancer uh, chemotherapy and if we give that drug for uh, our study study population group and we follow them up what we can see that what we can see is that the number of people who remain alive um, even after five years okay after starting the therapy and that will tell us about the five-year survival rate following giving that drug in breast cancer okay so it just tells us about the prognosis and remember that one of the commonly used survival rates are five-year survival rate it tells us about the proportion of survivors in a group studied and followed up over a period of time the formula is actually very easy when you understand the concept it tells uh, survival rate is given by the formula total number of patients alive after five years divided by total number of patients diagnosed with a particular disease or treated with a specific treatment modality multiplied by 100 this is uh, this is the formula of survival rate so in our next video i'll be talking about standardized rates where i'll be explaining about the concepts of direct standardization and indirect standardization and i'll be trying to make it simple for you guys two minute dog is a part of the youtube channel medwitch made simple if you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe to two minute dog for more videos more short and crisp two minute videos the link is in the description of this video Please read the description of this video to know how you can support our channel without spending even a single dollar. You can also support our channel directly by donating on Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you tomorrow in my next video.